going to show you how to make this visual. I was following some tutorials earlier and I got <coughs> really lost and so I decided to just mess around myself. <coughs> I am in no way an expert on um, touch designer, but I thought still I have some things to share that I figured out today just by trying a lot of different things and doing some research and I found this to be a pretty cool result um, and what's nice about it is there's a lot of different possibilities for audio reactivity later for example um, doing a displacement with this within itself and then you can um, change a lot of that with audio reactivity um, I mean, there's tons of things to do also with uh, the initial um, noise that we're going to put down. You can change a lot. Whoa. Um, for example, there's a lot you can do. So it's kind of a nice one. And I was just really happy with it because I it was a nice moment of creativity and everything. Anyways, I'm not going to rebuild the whole system or anything. And so if you're really new to Touch Designer and that's going to stress you out, I don't necessarily recommend this, but maybe you'll be able to follow um, in any case. And uh, so, yeah, going to get started. So um, basically just going to go through the system that I have here. We're going to start by putting down a noise top, add operator, noise, you put down your noise top, etc, etc. So here for your noise top, um, I have seed 1, period 2, harmonics 10, harmonic spread 0, harmonic gain 2, exponent 1, amplitude 0 0.42 monochrome off um, and then in common resolution 1000 by 1000 so that's my resolution for the whole project so um, you might want to pay attention to your res resolution later so what is important here uh, to create the movement is in your noise you want this written abs time point seconds star 0 0.04 abs time point seconds star 0.031 so you're translating the x and y axes of your first noise then you're going to add a start top uh, and then a feedback top which is going to look at a null later to create uh, the movement uh, within the system uh, so you have your feedback going into a blur, passes one channel mask RGBA, pixel format 16-bit flow RGBA, and actually um, for your pixel format for all of your noise tops, that's also going to be 32-bit flow RGBA. Um, okay, so we have all of that going on. And... Now, did I do something really weird? Is there something? Yep, everything's good. Um, okay, so yeah. Uh, now we have our feedback, our blur. Our blur is going to go into another noise, and this is uh, seed 1, period 2, harmonics 10, harmonic spread 1.84, harmonics gain 0 0.46, exponent 4, amplitude 2, Offset 0.992, monochrome off, um, resolution again. And the blur is going in two times into the noise. Feedback is going into add. So you're going to create a top for add. The noise is going into a math top. And here what you're going to change is the multiply to a really small number. I put mine at 0.022, but you can look at uh, yourself what what you would like to to do. Um, I would start with that and then change things more later once you've built the whole system. And then we have an add. So the feedback is going into the add. The math is going into the add. 
these are my um, settings for the, the ad. Um, and then this goes into a level. And in the level, I have my gamma at 1.7, opacity at 0.9, brightness 0.9, clamp off, pre-multiply RGB by alpha off. Um, I also messed a little bit with the brightness, gamma, etc. So for the pre and level, invert 0, black level 0, brightness 1, gamma 1.34, contrast 1. Range, low range, 0 0.092, high range, 0 0.152, out low zero, out high, 0 0.772. RGBA, I turned up a bit the high R and the high G, but everything else is down. Post, uh, I already talked about this, and voila. And the level is going into a comp. And in our comp, I have my operation set to maximum. And then we're also going to have another noise top here. And this one is the seed is 1, period 0, harmonics 2, harmonic spread 2, harmonic gain 0, exponent 0, amplitude 0.5, offset 0.355, monochrome off. Uh, and that goes into a threshold. Uh, comparator is not equal. RGB is luminance. Threshold zero. Alpha same as RGB. Soften. Remember to soften this a little bit. Um, mine is at 0 0.109. And then we have that going into a multiply, um, which I didn't change any settings here. And... Um, then your noise is uh, the top that select is looking at here. So you're going to go like that. Make sure your top is pointing to your noise one, that initial noise that we put down. Um, so we did our comp and everything. And then now we have an end. This is just a null. So you're just going to put down add operator, the null top. And I renamed mine end. And that goes into null one. I have two nulls, um, and you can just have one as well. And your feedback is going to um, be attached to your end. So that's very important. Make sure that in your feedback, after the comp, where you have your end or your null one, your target top on your feedback one is your end. OK, very important. And so that's the beginning of, of the whole system. Um, and then here, uh, our whole particle situation, and then we go into kind of after effects, what we can do. We have our um, whole geometry camera light situation. So you're going to put down an add operator in the SOP. Put down your add. Um, your add... Um, position zero 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 weight one your ad is going into a convert and the convert is going into your geo one and so um it's important that you have uh, the that you extend this connection to create your geo one um so that it has the blue connections someone said that in a tutorial one time and i don't remember the reason exactly but um you're wanting it to still be a sop or blue connecting to your convert anyways and then for your material you're going to pick a constant add operator material constant um you keep all of your settings and that you're just dropping in like this and you're saying um Parm material, so the top one there. And then you're going to put down your camera. Um, all of these are found in your comps. So you have your camera and your light that you're going to put down. And your light is looking at your geometry. Yep. Um, 
and so your light is connecting here you have your camera going towards the render and everything so when you put down your render uh you can see oh so it's oh but in the geometry something i forgot that's very important is um in your instancing translate op null one translate x r translate y g translate z b there you go stay cooked sorry so you want to put down your light and your um your geometry your constant your camera and then put down your render yeah i'm really i'm really new to touch designer so i'm trying my best in this explica uh, explanation of things um so yeah There we go. And I don't know what I did. But someone can tell me in the comments. <laughs> uh, everything goes to a render and then to a null. And then to add some effects, I put a balloon. Oh my gosh. What happened? All right, so we have this whole system set up. And then we have our render going to another null. Put down another null top. And then this is basically what we have for now. So we have uh, some kind of delicate particles. Um, not a lot going on, but it's kind of a gentler visual. Uh, and so I added bloom to this um which i absolutely love this you can find this in your palette and under image filters you have bloom and you put it down and there's so many different effects that you can do in bloom so to show i'm gonna add a null here and then if we just had our bloom we can really change um everything a lot <laughs> so it's quite nice you can change your glow color too but i kind of like the initial um color that they propose us anyways okay so you're gonna add your bloom um and then you're going to add another null and then the deplace you can use later for your audio reactivity or if you really liked um, that effect where it was connected to itself, um, you, can, you can do some fun stuff with that as well. Then you're going to put your RGB key down, which immediately gives you the black background. And so that's what we're looking at now. I have another null, which I probably don't need, but don't hate. And then my feedback edge is really what uh, made everything super, n super nice and juicy and flowy and, and fun. And these are my settings for it. I chose a specific edge color, which you can change. It's also fun with your audio reactivity. You can work on the pulses that are in this and in the glow. And there is so much that you can do afterwards to um, to mess around with uh, just using this image filter, which is also found um, in your palette over here. You have your feedback edge. So that is everything that I did um, to create this visual. And I hope you enjoyed my tutorial and that I'm not the most annoying person in the world. And I'm really sorry because 
I can't really explain a lot of, well, actually, I forgot something extremely important. <laughs> okay, so actually, so originally in your transform, this is what I have written for the X and the Y math in order to create the movement that I have. You can mess around with these uh, numbers as well uh, and see what it does for you and, and if you prefer it. Uh, a lot to do, a lot of fun to be had, and then you can make it audio reactive and, and, uh, yeah, I hope you enjoy having so much fun in the sun with this, and, um, one time I saw this girl give a tutorial, and then the guy in the comments said, cool tutorial or cool results but are you cooked and so if someone has uh, has a question for me yes i am completely cooked um so i can't explain better than i did <laughs>